everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create this post-digital effect on a public space scene using SketchUp to Illustrator workflow. It'll take less than 10 minutes to create these images. Let's start with getting the 2D exports from SketchUp. We set the scene to center our public space. First, we'll add shadows. Click on the shadow symbol. You can also add the shadows options from Windows menu. Then you can play with the sliders until you find an angle you like. To export shadows only, you'll need to go to View, Edge Style, and uncheck Edges. Go to View again, this time uncheck the profiles. To export the shadows, go to File, Export, to D Graphic. We'll export as PNG. Make sure the transparent background is checked. We'll add the shadowed version as a scene. After that, we'll export two separate PDFs to make the editing easier in Illustrator. First, we'll hide the background buildings. Then go to File, Export, and select to D-Graphic. Select PDF and click Export. Then you can unhide the background from the edit menu. Now, we'll hide the foreground and export to D again. Now we'll move on to Illustrator. To open the PDFs in Illustrator, right-click the file and select Open with Illustrator. We're starting with adding new layers and renaming them then placing the 2D exports into those layers. This way we'll combine the two separate PDFs in one drawing, but in different layers. We'll set the artboard size to 55 by 30. We'll hide the public space layer to change the color and line weight of the background buildings. Since they're on the back, we'll make them appear lighter in color and stroke. After that, you can clean the excess lines and add new ones to the drawing as needed. To remove the excess parts on the sides, draw a rectangle of the same size as the artboard. Then, select the Shape Builder tool and click on them while pressing the Alt key. Repeat the same steps for the right side as well. We will move our drawing slightly upward to make it more centered. We'll color the public space layer first. To color the scene, select All, go to Object, choose Live Paint, click on Make. Click on the Live Paint bucket icon from the toolbar, choose a color. If you click three times, it'll color the whole Live Paint group at once. Add the color palette you'd like into the artboard, then select the color you want to apply while holding down the Alt key. Now we'll quickly paint the scene by selecting colors from the color palette. Outlines looked a bit darker after coloring. To select all the outlines, we'll select one of them, then go to Select, Same, Fill and Stroke. Then we can change the stroke color to lighter gray. And while they're selected, we'll place them into a different layer. This way we can just hide that layer if we don't want to see the outlines later on. Now, we'll repeat the same live paint steps for the background buildings. After that, we'll move on to adding texture to surfaces. We'll use vector patterns for that. First, we'll select a ground surface, then select all the surface with the same color, 
copy it, and paste it into place. Then, while the surfaces on top are selected, click on the pattern you want to apply. Lower the opacity to make it look smoother. And that's all. Repeat these steps for every surface you want to add texture. Select all. Copy and paste them in place. Then apply a pattern onto the surfaces above. Lower their opacity and that's all. For the grass, we'll use one of our nature patterns. The link is in the description box below. Don't forget to lower the scale of the patterns to match the perspective of the drawing. Now, we'll move on to add realistic vegetation cutouts to the scene. We've prepared a bundle that has all the content we use to make this post-digital drawing. The link is in the description box below. Especially, the pine trees we added to the background complete the scene. Adding ivy to the edges of the windows is always a nice touch. And if you have a sky showing, don't forget to add flying birds. We'll add the shadow export. We'll change its opacity blend mode to make it more smoother. We'll choose multiply and lower its opacity to 30. We'll add a new layer on top for the people cutouts. Now, a quick tip. To change colors into black and white, select all cutouts, go to edit, edit colors and select convert to grayscale. We have added the black and white versions for you in the content bundle. Moving forward, our focus will be on distributing and scaling people cutouts on the scene in a balanced manner. The use of cutout people will especially enhance the post-digital effect. You can easily add shadows to standing characters. Duplicate the cutout by dragging it while holding down the Alt key. Go to Image Trace and select Silhouettes. Lower its opacity to same tone as the shadows on the scene. Then, you can use the Reflect and Rotate tools. To further edit, use the Shear tool or select the Free Transform tool and use the Free Distort option. Drag and pull the shadow until it matches the angle of the background shadows. Repeat the same steps for each cutout. Duplicate it, image trace it, lower its opacity, rotate and reflect. Match its angle using shear and free distort tools. Our scene is done. We'll export it as JPEG. To further enhance the post-digital feeling, you can add filters in Photoshop. We have made a tutorial on that, which you can check out. But we want to show you another version with vector people. Once you have your scene completed, especially if it has soft colors, you can add human figures in any style. For this tutorial, we'll use our outline vector people. It comes in two different color palettes. We'll go with the black and white one. Its link is in the description box below. Just like we did with cutouts, we'll scatter and scale people vectors on the scene in a balanced way. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. You can create different versions using the same base, adding different vegetation and people scales. Don't forget to share with us if you do. We added all the links for the content to the description box below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.